Hey what's up guys welcome to cubic soul youtube channel and in today's video i am going to show you how you can create custom alert dialog in android studio so in this video we just have create a simple uh, uh, we just have designed our simple alert dialog and we will show this to our user and the, when the user will click on this button our dialog will disappear so guys video is going to be more important and before start please i request you to subscribe to our youtube channel to stay up to date with amazing programming videos let's start so here first of all you can see that we have create a simple android studio project to create the custom alert dialog first of all we will create our custom layout file to create the layout file right click on the layout folder new layout resource file and here i am going to name this custom underscore layout press ok button okay we will design our this layout so first of all i have to drag and drop a text view here and constrain it horizontally constrain it to the top and margin top would be 16 dp and here we have to type the text success text color would be black text si style would be bold and text size would be 20 sp next we will create an icon to create an icon in android studio right right click on the drivable folder new and click on vector asset and by clicking on click art you can choose any icon from android studio library so i'm going to select the event available icon select the icon press ok button and here i'm going to name this ic underscore done and by clicking on this color i can choose the color of my icon easily because we need black color so i will remain this as it is and press next and press on finish button and here we have to drag and drop an image view here and i will select my this icon and press ok button drag it to constraint it to the bottom of success text view constraint right and constraint left its width would be 60 dp and its height would be 60 dp margin top would be 10 dp that's that's it first of all i want to tell you one thing that here we will choose the width of our alert dialog so i'm going to give a value here like 300 dp or 350 dp that's it and uh, last but not the least we have to drag and drop a text view here constrain it to the bottom of our icon constraint right constraint left and uh, here i will write the text your order has been placed and finally we have to drag and drop a button here because we will also learn how to handle on click listener on our buttons of alert dialog and i'm going to give id of btn okay that's it we just have designed a simple layout for our alert dialog and next we have to open the main activity and inside the on create method we have to use the dialog class so i will create the object of dialog class uh, is equal to new dialog and inside this we will pass our context here like main activity dot this semicolon and next i will type here dialog dot set content view by using this method we will set our the file that we have just designed with our dialog so i will type here r, r dot layout dot custom underscore layout and finally we just to type here dialog dot show because we have write this code inside our own kit method that's why when our app will be run our dialog will appear to our user so if you want to do this function on a click on on a click of a button you must have to write this line on the own click listener of your button so now let me just run the app so i can show the show you the output so guys our app have been run successfully and here you can see our dialog we just designed a simple dialog you can make it attractive as much as you want but when our user will click on this button we will dismiss our dialog so we will learn how we can handle the on click listener to our this button and next first of all you can see that when i will click outside to our dialog our dialog have been disappeared let let me show you how to handle this so we will type here dialog dot set cancelable is equal to false so by writing this line when our user will click on the outside of our alert dialog our dialog will not be disappeared next we will learn how to set on click listener on the button of our dialog so i will type here button space btn ok is equal to we will find our that button by using dialog dot find view by id so we don't have to write find view find view by id we have to write dialog dot find view by id r dot id dot btn okay semicolon 
and next we have to type here btn dot set on click listener new view dot on click listener and inside this when our user will click on the ok button we will just dismiss our dialog so we have to type here dialog dot dismiss semicolon you can perform any action according to your requirement so our code have been completed we will again run our app so guys here you can see that our app have been run successfully and uh, when i will click outside to our alert dialog our dialog will not be disappear and when i will click on our this button you can see that our dialog have been disappeared so i hope you must understand this video and if you have any question related to this tutorial you can ask us in the comment section we will try to answer your question and please subscribe to our youtube channel to stay up to date with amazing programming videos and finally thanks for watching